YouTube Chicks <laughs> Get ready You know what to do Chicks so listen, Chicks Smooth Hey Chicks Smooth Appreciate all the coverage that you been doing I've been watching your shit for a while I just subscribed to your shit too bro No Drake Please No Say it and so you guys Oh my gosh Drake has once again been caught red handed For not writing one of his songs Now after taking a huge loss to Kendrick Lamar Things do not seem to be getting better for Drake not Like Us by Kendrick Lamar is officially a summer hit record. Yes, I'm calling it right now. It's a summer smash. The song is ringing out and playing everywhere you can possibly imagine. It doesn't matter who puts out a record right now. This is Kendrick's moment and it's still continuing. Now for all you Drake fans out there, I have some very unfortunate news. No, Baka's weird case did not go away. The reference track for Drake's Mob Tie song has officially leaked. It looks like the song was written by Vori and not Drake. Now most of you guys should know this, but a reference track is basically when another artist gives you a song. The song is pretty much done. All you have to do is just go into the booth, rap or sing the song the same exact way that the artist gave it to you. Now obviously you as the artist that's going to use the song, you can make small tweaks to it. But for the most part, the lyrics are done, the cadence is done. All you're doing is pretty much copying and pasting. Now if you guys go to the songwriters list of people that were credited for the Mop Tie song, you guys will see that Vori along with maybe 10 other people were also listed on the songwriters credits. So now you have people saying, wait, Drake never hid the fact that Vori was involved in the song at all. Now obviously you guys know when an artist is writing a song, anybody that's in the studio, anybody that's around the person that's making the music, if you give them a bar, a lyric, anything that has to do with the song coming out, you're going to be credited for the song. But it's another thing when another artist that's known for writing music for other people gives you a whole reference track that ends up getting leaked. It tells people that the song is not yours, those lyrics are not yours, the whole entire idea of the song is not yours. And I think this is the loophole that a lot of artists are using whenever they have songwriters write music for them. Just credit 20 people as a songwriter for the song and fans will never know which one is the actual person. Now this has been the one of a few knocks on Drake's career is that he does not write his own music. That's the reason why a lot of fans are shocked, that's the reason for the outrage about this. Now I'm not sure how this reference track leaked. Obviously stuff like this, you try your best to guard it and make sure it does not come out to the public. It ruins the image and perception that fans have of a certain artist, especially somebody like Drake. At this point, fans are going to start getting curious about which Drake songs he actually wrote himself. Now for anybody out there wondering, this is now the fourth Drake song that has now had reference tracks for. Mob Ties, 10 Bands, Jumbotron, Shapapin, and Rico. Kendrick Lamar has already told you Drake, you got a leak in your camp buddy, fix that man. You guys get in the comments below. You Drake fans out there, please tell me do you guys care about this Mob Ties reference track dropping? And for everybody else, how do you guys all feel about this? Does this affect Drake's legacy to you? Post your comments below, subscribe to my channel, like this video. I'll see you guys later, man. Hey guys, shop with my boy Chick Smooth at chicksmooth.shop.